Oh man, someone brought in donuts. It was Cat. And look, there's a Stroop donut. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this. Does it have caramel in it? We're gonna find out. I don't even know how you're supposed to bite it and get the cookie. Okay, are you supposed to bite it? Bite the, I'm just gonna try and bite the cookie with the donut. Okay, there's nothing special about the donut except that there, there's also a mini shroop waffle in it. But there's nothing wrong with that. Happy Monday, everyone. This week, I feel like it's gonna be a good week because we actually finished all the videos for this week last week. So that's always good. The question is whether we will get next week's videos done this week. That would be ideal, remains to be seen. In any case, we're off to a good start. Although off to, also off to a tired start because Luke woke up in the middle of the night at like 3.30 and I had to get up and go read to him, which is fine, you know, he had like a little bad dream, but um, you know, put him back to bed. He fell immediately asleep. I did not fall asleep again at all, so I've been awake for a while. But uh, you know, anyway, we're at the office, gonna jump into the rough cut, get tomorrow's video ready to go. Hey brother! Guys, we've been talking about Encanto so much lately that it's got me in the ocean, AKA giant body of water. Anyway. Check it out, we got a thing from the P.O. Box from Mick Sorrels. Oh, it looks big, is it? Is it narwhal shaped? Maybe it is. It's oh. like a, or is it a whale pretending to be a narwhal with a little ice cream cone on his head? Like, I can be it. I'm real. <laughs> I can be it. I'm so real. Cute. Are narwhals real? Is... Oh, there's more. Hold on. Oh, oh gosh. Was it like... was way heavier than expected. I'm sorry. <laughs> to be fair, it said fragile. I got this out, and my mind was like, this isn't <laughs> fragile. This is 4J. Thank you. A little Grogu. <laughs> Just fun. Try me. Push button. Oh, I'm adorable. Oh, it keeps going. Oh my. He does keep going. <laughs> oh my. Okay. I think it's on repeat. Dragon's roast. It's coffee. For a very small cup. Good name. Dragon's roast. That is a good name. Oh, maybe there's more. Rising sun, light roast. Yay, more coffee, always good here. We will drink it. We like the bean water. So, we got a bit of an unfortunate email yesterday that a kid in Luke's class has COVID and he was exposed on Friday. So now his class cannot come back for like two weeks. Which is gonna be a long two weeks. So my mission this week is to find as much stuff to keep the kids occupied and busy um, so we don't all go crazy. First up is we are doing some stamps. Yeah. We've got some stamps for Christmas so we're trying to learn how to use stamps and an ink pad. What could go wrong? I'm yeah. gonna do the elephant. I'm gonna do the oh, elephant. What do we think this is people? Move to just stacking the stamps, but you know what? <laughs> Boom! Whatever works, huh? Oh! oh. Find this one and don't find it. Stop! Stop! Meow! Look, Look at this one making the Thomas Tower in the whole world. Wow! How many stamps did you Stop! Stop! Did you see the duck? <laughs> don't knock it. Here we go. Here we go. Here 
real fast. <laughs> okay, it's day two of everybody being home and I'm only slightly losing my mind. But I went and picked up all the stuff for like a sensory box, some like beans, some funnels, some scoops, and um, we're gonna see. The twins haven't done this before, but I think they're gonna like it if they don't throw it everywhere. <laughs> so we will see. Boom, first V-Star boxes to come out. We have Glaceon and Leafeon. I have two, too. It's a big Leafeon day in the office. No, it's two, but I have two, too. You have two as well. Not A2, two. two. Not A2, two, two. Two also. Two also. Right, what should we start with? I think, I think Leafsters. Leafster? Oh, brand new V-Star marker. Wumbo, Leafeon V-Star card. And there's the actual cards themselves, the V and the V star. Oh, I'm excited to play with these. Let's start with Fusion Strike. Okay. Basically the most boring at this point. Unless we pull the Mu V Max. Which we've not done. We have not. Well, there's like all cards. New card smell. It does have very oh, new card smell. Oh, I have a full smell. art something. Oh, Chandelure V Max and Dragapult. Ben with the hot hand. What's more popular, Glaceon or Le Leafeon? I would guess Glaceon. At least, well, for competitive play, Leafeon is better. Wombo, Glaceon, V-Star. And of course, the stars themselves. It looks like maybe a four or something or another. <sighs> Gengar! Oh, Gengar. Little Gengar action. Hey, look at that. How serendipitous. We got the Leafeon V-Max. So you can evolve Leafeon V into the V-Star or the V-Max. Maybe our bar is getting too high for what constitutes an excited pull these days. <laughs> we just, we, the thing is we've already opened like over 300 of each of these packs. That's true. You know, so it's like. That's quite a many. It's hard to get stuff we don't already have. There you go. Okay, for Wednesday's activity of the morning, I have frozen some little toys in um, a container and now they're trying to rescue them from the frozen ice, Mommy. so let me show you. Okay, we've got some warm water here. We've gotta try to rescue these toys. Okay, let's, let's get off the table maybe. That's, I don't know if that's a good idea. Why? That looks like a Paw Patrol toy. Yeah, they're frozen in the ice. Now we gotta get that thing we can out. Use it. Yeah, we gotta rescue them. Nobody seems that excited about the ice project, but the beans are still going strong. So, I guess we'll stick with this. We spent a lot of time doing this, so this is a winner. Just beans and some jars and scoopers. Recommend. All right. This is gonna be a really exciting package because we have uh, some new stuff going live on Harlan Brothers Coffee, and I'm pretty sure this is this this is the stuff. 
This is the stuff. Oh yes. Oh, cat's favorite bubble wrap. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, look at the label. It's a pretty straw this. <laughs> we have a block art quiz video going up today. Uh, you know, pretty obvious and that's where we're first announcing this. Look at the back. It's got like the strawberries with the chocolate. Oh my gosh, it's gonna, I haven't actually even tried it yet. I'm so excited. Oh boy, I have got the bar out. Look at that. Oh, it looks so tasty. Mm. Here we go. I'm gonna break off a piece. Woo. There it is. Perfect. Oh, that's really good. Woo. Make me smile. Make me smile. Make me smile. What do you think, Ooh, Ethan? It's so pretty. Give us an analysis. Ma'am, that is good chocolate. Right? Special delivery. Oh. We have chocolate. Pretty strawbious. Pretty strawbious. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. It tastes very pretty. It tastes pretty. It tastes pretty, looks pretty. Excellent. Real good. making some bread. I'm actually using a food scale now to weigh everything out for baking, because it really does make a difference. So, recommend a food scale, and it's easier than measuring. Yeast, some lukewarm water here. Now it has to rise for an hour or two, which when it's cold like this, it needs a warm spot. So somebody told me a tip to put like a cup of water to boil in the microwave, and then put your bread in there. So we'll see. Okay, it's about an hour and a half later, and really it rose pretty well. I feel like that trick with the water in the microwave really worked. So now um, we gotta Divide it in two, put it in bowls, let it rise again, and then it'll be time to bake. Okay, I'm supposed to like, use this to like unstick it from the edge, and kind of turn it over on itself. Okay. Now I'm supposed to divide it in two. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to real quick try my current favorite coffee mug. It's got hipster Mickey on it, which matches my shirt and my pants, actually. So it's a very Mickey sort of day. But really, it's my favorite because it's the one that has coffee on it. But really, really, today's gonna be a great day because it's my birthday. And check out what Beth got me. It's Hamilton tickets. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys what, it is a straight up dreary day outside. My outfit does not match the weather at all. But I decided I was gonna go um, full rainbow uh, Mickey tie-dye uh, pajamas today to work because, because it's my birthday, we are doing um, pancakes and pajama party in the morning. So everyone should be wearing pajamas and we're gonna have pancakes and it's gonna be fun. Just one 34 year old in the staircase. Good morning! Morning! I love your PJs! Thank you! They look so good. They're Almost as much as cat PJs though. What? And the slippers too. And the slippers. Love the Grogu. <laughs> Crushing it. Good morning. Jordan, are you making pancakes? I am making pancakes. Yay. It's pancakes and PJs. That's right! And why is it pancakes and PJs, Jordan? Because it's Jay's birthday! Yay! Happy birthday, Jay! Thanks, guys. <laughs> pancakes are underway. And bacon. Hi. Here we go. I just realized Cap's the head. It's so good. Aww. What's up, T? What's up, Jack? How's it going? Good. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. What do we got here? We've got tachos, spin art dip, well, pretzels. The only top five apps right top here. Five apps, no, right? That's lunch of champions. <laughs> and so I can. I can Ben's on the phone. Piece that together. 
with our dad. Okay, it's Friday and we were going crazy, so we made it out to Kids Square. Nate is at a restaurant right now. Luke is serving some ice cream. Are you scooping ice cream, Luke? Ooh, yummy. Delicious. Ice cream, please? No, not yet. I need to finish more. Oh. Please, I really want one. Okay, I'll take a popsicle. Oh, thank you. You want to ride? Let's ride. Fixing that car, Luke? You fixing it? Yeah. Is that where the gas goes? Oh. Pump it her up. Okay, snowball fight. I'm not sure you're supposed to bounce on them, but I think you are supposed to throw them. Boop! It's so, you got like forts, like snow forts. So you hide behind them so you don't get hit and then you throw your snowballs. All right, birthday day complete birthday night just starting what are we doing we are going to our favorite restaurant yeah. local roots it is so and good if you're ever yeah. in roanoke go to local roots thanks for having a birthday oh you're welcome we get a night away from the kids it's amazing i should have a birthday every day right yeah <laughs> okay we both ordered the ginger which is our favorite cocktail maybe in roanoke right maybe in roanoke this is the cube for sure this is what it is it's right there the fresh ginger really takes it up a notch. So. You guys seeing the charcuterie board? This is like part of the reason I'm coming here so much because they have like the best boards. They're so good. I, this, I could eat this stuff all day, every day. If I ate charcuterie every day, that's the dream. That's the dream. Someday. Someday. Round two, what do we got? Next up, sticky shrimp. Boom. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I mean, are there two better words put together than sticky? Sticky, I know. We saw it on the menu, like, like, we have to have it. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what. Right, it's going to my mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is the Popperdell pasta, which I love. And the flank steak. This <laughs> place is the best. Happy, happy place found. I'm so excited to eat this. It looks so good. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Are you so happy? I'm so happy. <laughs> Alright, we're rolling. What do we got? It's the chocolate tort to finish off. So. Let's see, let's see. Or should I give you the first, oh. oh. <laughs> should I give you the first bite of your no, birthday? No, you can go for it. 